Oh, you don't like me? That's fine. Yeah, this is a funny video. You know what I mean? When you blow up and become super famous, all of a sudden people are going to start looking at your relatives. And when they've got some cheeky photos online and send them to you live on Twitch, my God, that makes for one viral moment. Before inadvertently giving your brother a show that no amount of showering will ever wash away, well, influencer Naomi Ross was born on November 1st, 1995 in Boca Raton, Florida. Now, Aiden, if you're watching this, I apologize. We got uh, your city wrong the first time we covered you. Yeah, you know where it came from complex or somewhere but still we apologize now most streaming fans they're probably familiar with naomi ross's brother aiden ross a twitch gamer and social media influencer who made a name and a career for himself off his nba 2k streams not to mention well his healthy dosage of outrageous personality you know that's my but that's not a lot but you sat on my I know, and that won't happen again. I'm not chewing with bro. I know. Yeah? <laughs> oh. Oh, no. <laughs> with over 6 million fans on Twitch alone, well, Aiden has gradually become a bigger and bigger deal over these past few years. But what some of his fans might not know is that his sister, Naomi, well, she's also a part of the social media and streaming universe. In point of fact, well, while growing up in a family that originally hailed from Israel, well, Aiden and Naomi, they got their start playing video games actually together. Now, during their childhood, well, Naomi and Aiden's family, they moved around a whole bunch from Florida to New York City before finally heading to California and settling into Three Rivers. Now, following their arrival to Cali in 2014, well, Naomi launched her own Instagram account, but it wasn't her admittedly sultry images that will originally make her famous. Now, what turned Naomi Ross into a much bigger deal than she ever had been before well, was when she picked up a controller and began participating in some of Aiden's 2K streams over on Twitch. Now, what happened is that when Aiden got a little bit older and decided that he wanted to pursue streaming professionally, professionally, like as a career, well, his parents, they were left disappointed by his decision to abandon his plans to go to college. So when he moved out of his childhood home to chase his dreams, well, he wound up living with his older sister, Naomi, the one person in his family who really supported his decision and believed that he could make it. Now, as Aiden's star began to explode from 2019 onwards, well, Naomi Ross was right there alongside with him, which helped facilitate her own popularity, especially when it came to those individuals who were already fans of Aiden's to begin with. And for the most part, a lot of Naomi's early popularity, it was regulated to her Instagram account, where the more comfortable she became in front of the camera, well, the more her content began to get, well, a little more spicier. Now, Aiden's Twitch and Instagram numbers might have been blowing up into the seven-digit range, but Naomi was collecting some significant numbers of her own, with well over 146,000 followers on Instagram alone. Learning from her brother's multi-platform approach, well, next, Naomi created both a YouTube channel and a TikTok profile for herself. Now, at present, the YouTube channel has seen all of its content either deleted or set to private, but Naomi still got 18,000 subscribers on the platform and they're eagerly awaiting her return. Meanwhile, over on TikTok, well, she's discovered a whole lot more success. She even surpassed her metrics on Instagram by earning 157,000 followers who regularly enjoy her lip dubs, her dancing videos, and the occasional cameo from who else? Of course, we're talking about Aiden. That guy's working overtime. Now, another method that Naomi has used to get noticed is when she appears in some of Aiden's endless series of prank videos. Now, although if I'm being honest, well, she might have learned a little too well from watching her brother work because the moment that really landed Naomi on the influencer map was when she pranked Aiden herself with the help of one of his friends. Now, back in 2021, well, Aiden, he had joined the Clout Gang 2.0 and he moved into the collective house where he lived alongside such talent as FaZe Banks, Mike Majlak, Summer Rae, and Rice Gum. So far, so good, right? Well, that's where things began to get a little dicey when Naomi stopped by the house to hang out with her brother and all of his friends. Now, because it didn't take long for Naomi to begin cuddling up to one of Aiden's buddies, the former football player and Kermit streamer. We're talking about Zias. In fact, we've done it before they were famous on him and his pal. You can check that out at the end of this video. Now, after inadvertently catching these two in an intimate moment together, well, Aiden informed his viewing audience that he was far from pleased with what he had just seen, letting loose with more than a few choice words for both his sister and Zias as well. In particular, that their flirtation, well, it had gone too far. But as it would turn out, well, Aiden, he got himself all riled up and followed for the oldest trick in the book. The kid had been pranked. He was duped. It was all for the views. Too far, too far, bro. It was a prank, a prank bro. Aiden. A prank, this bro. whole thing we 
Out completely. It's not a funny prank. It was and later that night, while Naomi and Ziaz, they revealed to Aiden that the entire ordeal had just been a prank, they orchestrated to make Aiden as uncomfortable as humanly possible. And whether or not Naomi's flirtation with Ziaz was based in reality, well, I guess we'll never know. But she sure as heck got one over on her brother with that prank. Perhaps it was done better than he's ever gotten her. But as uncomfortable as Aiden was in that moment, well, a few years later, well, things would get much, much worse. In addition to her presence on Instagram, Twitter, which TikTok and YouTube. Well, Naomi Ross also recently created a profile on the world's newest and most popular subscription site where she decided to share some very exclusive and, uh, well, explicit content. Naomi became a creator on the platform in late 2021, and according to reports, well, her content was only originally available for subscribers who were willing to shell out $15,000 a month. Now, here's the thing. Now, I saw that number reported in a few different places, but I just couldn't believe it for myself. So I headed over to her profile to check it out, and what would you know? Well, currently her material is said to be viewed for free as you know as long as you're willing to subscribe yeah i don't know whether they call that something like a big ticket item and then just getting people in the door she's trying a bit of both now something tells me that that page is about to see a major influx in traffic because once some videos get uploaded uh people are going to be rushing there to get the stuff for free i mean who knows how long she'll be willing to give this type of content away for fresh air right especially with all the hype she's getting now but i guess charging people five figures a month it wasn't bringing in the type of metrics Naomi needed. Then again, maybe it was just $15 a month and some uh, like online publications. Well, they simply slipped up and they, uh, they, you know, they did a typo. I don't know. And for those of you wondering how Aiden reacted to the news that his sister had suddenly become a hot commodity on the adult entertainment market. Well, as I'm sure you can imagine, considering how he responded to what happened with Ziaz, he did not take, well, the news all that well. Now, the one thing that Aiden made crystal clear to all of his fans is that he didn't want to hear them talking about his sister's content while tuning into his streams, but you know how the internet is. It can provide us all with a lot of joy and entertainment, but it can also show us the kind of stuff that, uh, well, we'll never be able to forget. And uh, unfortunately for Aiden, well, that's exactly what happened next. Just a few days ago, while Aiden was in the middle of a live stream viewing videos and images from a Discord chat, well, he innocently clicked on a piece of media only to be met with an extremely explicit image of his sister's adult content. Now to say that Aiden was unoppressed, well, it would probably be the understatement of the year. In fact, he was so furious that he could barely respond at all. But that's all right, because the expression on his face, well, it really said all that was necessary. Now, as we've tracked throughout the story, well, Aiden and Naomi, they have a special relationship. So seeing his sister in such a compromising situation, it really isn't cool at all. And uh, while well, even Aiden's biggest detractors, even they felt sorry for the dude. Now, in a surprise turn of events, well, almost the entire internet appears to agree that whoever did this to Aiden, well, they simply went too far. Now, I'm not exactly sure how Naomi and Aiden are ever going to stream together after this, at least not for a little while. But whether they're live streaming, pranking each other, or posing for sibling photography on Instagram, Aiden and Naomi will remain two of the internet's most high-profile content creators, regardless of how awkwardly they might feel about one another for now. I think they're all in it to get the bag. So at the end of the day, what's good for the goose is good for the gander. Not good for Aiden's eyesight. Now, will this latest controversy help Naomi Star continue to rise on Twitch, Instagram, and other platforms? Well, I guess we'll just have to wait and see. After all, this has been before their famous. Now, before I leave you guys, I do have a question for you. What's the most embarrassing thing to ever happen between you and one of your siblings? Huh, now that we're talking about it, never saw my sister naked, but I did, uh, you know, I was around when she had a few fellas, so maybe I heard some stuff I shouldn't have. Anyway, you let me know in the comments down below what happened to you. And uh, as we're doing with more recent uploads, we're tagging an old upload to the end, so I know we made one on Ziaz and his boy, so let's just roll that at the end of this one. I'll see you guys in another video. Oh, or, or we can roll Aiden Ross the Rich Life. The editors will decide you enjoy the show. Before she become millions of men's newest and most ideal girl next door, well, adult entertainer Charlie Summer was born on May 21st, 1996 in Boca Raton, Florida. Now, shortly thereafter, while well, her part Native American and part Irish family, they moved to North Carolina when Charlie was just five years old. Eventually, she and her family, they would return to Florida when Charlie was entering her sophomore year of high school. Now, that's when she attended what she refers to as a very conservative Catholic institution, one that was sure to rein in any wild pro activities that, uh, well, Charlie was showing symptoms of. Now, as a teenager, Charlie's favorite pastime, it was uh, riding horses competitively, which she says taught her the important art of self-discipline. Now, generally speaking, having been raised in a traditional Catholic household, it meant that her parents, well, they were also pretty hard on her. Now, they not only
only made sure that Charlie practiced her horse riding skills every day, they also prevented her from hanging out with her friends on the weekends. Not that she had all that many friends in the first place. Now, an admitted late bloomer, will Charlie's initial experience with uh, bedroom acrobatics, well, they were limited. In fact, much of what she learned about human nature, well, she picked up while enjoying her favorite television series, Keeping Up with the Kardashians. If you could eat dinner with one person, who would it be? Mm, probably Kim Kardashian. Now, during an interview with AVN, she explained, I was obsessed with that my whole life. Kim is my absolute idol, so I think that has a little something to do with it. I'm like, anything Kim does, that's what I'm doing. Now, before she'd entered the adult space with Charlie Summer, she got her first experience with uh, nuts while working at a roasting nuts kiosk at a mall out in Boca Raton. While discussing her former occupation with AVN, well, she told them, they smelled very good and everyone would just swarm. And my boss would just have two cute girls standing out there with free samples and we would just sell tons of nuts. But soon enough, Charlie was begging for independence for both her part-time job and her ultra-conservative family. Now, after moving on from her job at the Nut Kiosk, well, uh, Charlie worked at a local Hollister store where she folded clothes and uh, ran the cash register. But that didn't last long either. Now, next, she picked up work at a small family-owned restaurant where she waited on tables. But handling so many plates of hot food at once, well, it terrified her, so she formulated a new plan. She attended cosmetology school in Orlando. Though Charlie was hoping that cosmetics would allow her to experience her creativity each and every day, but uh, she quickly learned that makeup, it can eventually get just as repetitive, well, as anything else. Now, on the plus side, making that one-hour commute from Boca Raton to Orlando, well, it taught Charlie the importance of getting to work on time. Putting in a 12-hour day, then returning home, well, she did that for about a year, during which time, well, she was getting closer and closer with her boyfriend. Now, this was just one of only two men that she'd been up close and personal with since spending her first night with a childhood friend at the age of 18. Now, that former friend turned into be her first boyfriend, but it was Charlie's second boyfriend that ended up changing her life when he began posting naughty pictures of her to Reddit forums just so he could get a laugh. When he alerted her to what he had done, well, Charlie, she wasn't even mad. In fact, she was interested. And then when he showed her the kind of reaction she was getting online, well, she became very interested. And that's how Charlie Summer discovered a career she could finally invest herself in. Originally, Charlie, she began uploading images of herself to Reddit to help boost her confidence under the name Kitty Tiny Feet. Now, this was a reference to her incredibly small feet. Now, this opened up the floodgates to thousands of upvotes on the platform as well as hundreds of comments. Then in March of 2019, well, she posted an image titled, I may not be a top chef, but I look good on top of one. Now, this picture, it showed her wearing her birthday suit in the middle of her kitchen, and it made it all the way to the front page of Reddit with more than 17,000 upvotes. Now, from that point forward, well, everything would change. In fact, she explained to AVN, it was like, he, 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 we're posting pictures on the internet, and then people saw it, my brother actually saw it, and hit me up about it. I think that's when it got real. I was like, Wow, I'm getting a lot of attention. Over the next few weeks and months, well, Summer, she warmed up to her new career in a steady progression. And as her Reddit fan base grew, she began receiving messages from fans and professionals who wanted her to create some custom videos. Now, since they were also willing to pay for them, well, Charlie thought to herself, huh? Why not? Now, knowing that she needed to protect her identity, well, Charlie came up with her stage name based upon one of her favorite social media influencers and the season that best fits her personality. Of course, I'm talking about Summer. Next, she began making custom clips with her iPhone and she sold those directly to her fans before moving on to selling her content to other adult-orientated platforms. Now, during this early part of the process, well, she'd also dabbled with uh, camming by hooking up with one of the uh, most notorious couples in the business. I'm talking about Jack and Jill. Now, it was the first time Charlie had ever slept with strangers and at first well it was something of a, a frightening experience for her it's one that she described to adult DVD talk by stating I was pretty freaked out I have to be pushed into everything I do I don't really want to naturally do much doing that I was super scared but right after I met them I'm like they're so sweet you build up these crazy thoughts in your head like people are going to kill you but then they don't have any axes and it's fine they're my friends to this day in fact Jack and Jill's video with Charlie remains the most popular video they've ever produced and following that experience well charlie she began thinking a little bit bigger following her life-changing experience with jack and jill will charlie continued to cam with them for a period of time before moving on to book her own scenes now of course in order to take full advantage of her new career well she need representation and she found it with the folks at motley models
Now, prior to signing with that agency, well, Charlie had been following a ton of their models on social media, and she thought that they produced some of the industry's top content. Now, international stardom, it seems all but unavoidable for Summer, whose early work in adult entertainment is by no means going unnoticed. Take, for instance, the opinion of male adult film superstar Dredd, who took Charlie for a spin in 2021. Now, to say that he enjoyed the time that he spent with her, well, it would definitely be an understatement. After all, he told AVN. I remember that like it was yesterday, I wasn't aware of her at the time of the shoot and was just hoping for a solid scene, but in no time, I realized she was the real deal. Today, some of Charlie's biggest accomplishments include titles like Adult Time, Naughty America, Jay's POV, and about a hundred other titles that you know I can't repeat on this, otherwise my family-friendly show would get cut down. Now, better yet, in 2023, well, she was nominated for an epic seven AVN awards, in particular, Best Star Showcase and Best New Starlet. And the last Matter of which she actually took home. Long story short, well, Charlie, she has been blown away by the reception she's received in the industry, and uh, she's extremely grateful for where her life has taken her. Though Charlie's already planning on leaving the industry behind when she turns 30, and following that, well, she might very well have a career in Hollywood waiting for her. Though she's about to appear in her very first television show, an upcoming HBO series called The Idol, which also stars The Weeknd and Johnny Depp's daughter, Lily Rose, along with uh, a whole bunch of other stars and and producers it's going to be the new euphoria it's going to be huge will charlie summer make an even bigger name for herself over the next few years well considering her steady ascent it certainly seems that way but for now we'll just have to wait and see what happens after all this is before they're famous thanks guys for checking out today's episode and before you head off well we got a question for you we'd love to hear your answers what skill do you already possess that might carry over well into adult entertainment can't wait to hear what you guys have to say i can already imagine some of the answers my god this video is definitely going to get demonetized if you're a fan of what we do here be sure to subscribe uh, join the channel as a member uh, follow us wherever you see us on social media and i'll see you guys in another video